channel. Okay, I started my log journey personally because if I'm looking like that way, it's because the window is open and there's people driving by and shit. I decided to start my log journey because my natural hair had just gotten to a point where it just wasn't growing. I mean, it was growing. I wasn't seeing like retention. Is that what you call it? Retention? Yeah, length retention. I was not seeing that. I had dyed my hair two times within a span of like two weeks, I think. Like I was trying to dye it this color. And this is before I locked my, well, of course, it's before I locked my hair, because this is why I decided to lock my hair. But anyway, um, yeah, I was trying to get it to this color and I was using, first of all, I used a box dye. And I mean, I used a box dye for this too, but I don't really have any damage or anything because I mean, my hair is locked, so. So the damage is minimal. It didn't come out how I wanted. It came out like a brown color. Like the color barely changed at all. And the second time I dyed it, I actually got the color that I wanted. So yeah, I'll insert pictures of what it looked like before I dyed it, and then like some months after I dyed it. And the difference is crazy, so. Okay, this was before I dyed it. See how full and healthy it looks. And this is after I dyed it. Struggle puff. But yeah, my hair had gotten really damaged. It was really dry, it was really brittle. Um, I never really did that much with my natural hair anyway. I would usually just put it in like a high puff and I would literally leave it in there for, like I would just go to sleep, wake up, you know, use some eco style gel on my edges and then just go about my day. And I thought that was fine. Um, that was working for me until I dyed my hair. And the only reason it was working for me before that was because like I rarely straightened my hair. Um, my hair was really healthy before I dyed it. And then me not taking care of it properly didn't really damage it because it was so healthy. And so when I dyed it and didn't do shit to it, cause I did the same exact thing when I dyed it, it was really like damaging to my hair. Like it had gotten so short. Like I trimmed my ends, it didn't help. Like I didn't know what to do and I didn't want to cut all my hair off because you know, I had come so far with my natural hair. So I've been wanting to lock my hair for about a year or two before I actually locked it. I locked it in June, 2020. And so I had just been bullshitting my appointments. Like I would make the appointments, not go to them, still have to fucking pay for the appointment because I guess I was just worried about honestly other people's opinions like i just i didn't know how it was gonna look you know it was a new hairstyle and i just couldn't commit to it and so so i'm just editing this video right now and i just want to say fuck other people's opinions if you want to lock your hair lock your hair it's honestly the best thing i've ever done so my original plan was to dye my hair and then lock it immediately after but i bullshitted it last june i kind of just there's a fucking school bus oh my god i'm gonna wait till they leave because it's kind of awkward all right, now this fucking kid's gone. <laughs> yeah, that was the plan. I didn't stick to the plan. I let my hair be treated like shit for a year. Like, I didn't do anything to it. I did the bare minimum. The second reason why I decided to lock my hair, I just always liked locks. Like I liked how they looked on other people, like people that I knew, especially like celebrities and shit. Like, and this was before Chloe and Hallie became like a big thing. Like, I just liked them. I liked how they looked. I especially liked the history of them. Um, and I just thought it was empowering. And this was like 
when the Black Lives Matter protests were happening and I just felt super empowered and I was like, okay, this is time to do it, I'm gonna do it. And I did it. The third reason I decided to lock my hair, I'm lazy, which kind of ties into the first reason, but I wanted something I didn't have to take care of every day and boy did I play myself because you definitely have to take care of your locks. Like if you don't, then yeah. I started following this girl on Instagram, West Indy Ray, which is here on YouTube. Hi girl, anyway. Yeah, like I found her Instagram page and I loved her locks. Like we have like kind of similar hair textures and, and it just like gave like a new perspective on locks. Cause I grew up kind of thinking there were only one type of like locks you could have, like the thick locks. And she just showed me that there's really a lot you can do with them and they're actually really versatile. And this is an update of my hair. Eight months locked, that is crazy. It's been eight months. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But yeah, thank you. Bye.